So in today's video, I'm gonna see if I can't solve an issue that I've been having with some of my out-of-state trips. Basically, if I shoot a deer out-of-state, even if I'm only driving 40 minutes across the border to Wisconsin, I cannot bring a full deer, uh, or even you know the spine, the head specifically, back across the border because of the CWD laws. And so, I'm able to bring a skull plate, that works. It just has to you know, be clean of all tissue. And for the most part, what I've been doing a lot of the antlers that I do have is I just mount them up in those plaques. But I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a Euro mount on one of the deer that I shot last year. And of course, because of those CWD laws, unless I basically do that whole process while I'm down in whatever state I'm hunting in, a Euro mount isn't really feasible. So what I thought I would try out in this video is one of these Skullmaster kits, mountain mic. Got this from Amazon Prime, $17, shipped to my door and I ordered the medium because the bases are less than five inches, so they call it that particular size. So, I mean, the gist of this thing is really that it's just a plastic skull that you would mount the antlers on. So I'll take each individual antler, saw it off, sand it, and then basically drill a pilot hole, drill it to this mount, and then just see how it looks, essentially. I've already taken measurements for the tip to tip and the inside spread, just to make sure that when I do mount the antlers, it's very close to how I had them originally set up. I think they do have a kit for if you want to basically attach the full skull plate, but most of the reviews that I read said that this one looks a little bit more realistic if you don't want to actually you know, maintain the perfect measurements of your deer. We got the bottom piece, top piece, hardware, and some gap filler. So step one, Saw the antlers from the skull plate and sand them down. So the next step here is basically fit these things onto the skull plate and go ahead and attach them. So of course the flatter you're gonna be able to get the bottom of that antler base, the better. All right, so I mounted the antlers to the top. And the biggest thing during that process, it seemed like they made the biggest difference was just when you're putting that final bolt in to lock everything in place, that you you know, first basically hold the antler flush to that actual plastic. And then while holding those things flush, then you screw the bolt in or the screw. If you have a gap and you try and start the screw in first and then just like allow it to go in and hope that the antler just snugs up. That didn't seem to work quite as well. So hold them flush, then drive the screw in. Now I don't have these things locked down totally tight yet. I still got a little bit of maneuverability in this one so that I can basically go back through and just double check my measurements. Yeah, so right now I'm about an inch small on the inside spread and about an inch and a half small on the tip to tip. So I will go ahead and adjust each of those. There, that's about perfect right there. So I'll just take the screwdriver then on this one base that's a little bit looser. The last step basically is just to attach the bottom piece to the top piece. And that's what these two little screws right here are for. All right, and that is actually it. So, I don't know, I've been filming this video for probably, you know, 20, 30 minutes. It really hasn't taken long at all. If I were to just, obviously with the power tools, that helps a ton. If I were to go and make another one of these, I could probably do it in maybe 10 minutes or so. And, uh, Obviously, if you don't have the power tools, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Even with like a Sawzall or something, it's gonna be 
uh, nice and quick, but hacksaw is going to do the job just fine. There's this little mounting hole in the back here. So, I mean, if you wanted to hang this thing just flush on the wall, you could hang it off of a screw just like that. But they also do sell a universal mounting kit that would allow you to position this thing however you wanted. So, I think once I hang this thing up on the wall, I'd be hard pressed to be able to tell a difference. Obviously, if I'm looking at it from this far away, I can tell that it looks, you know, maybe a little plasticky. I can tell that it's not an actual bone. There may be some kind of uh, paint job or just kind of extra finish you could do to really give it a more realistic look. Certainly a lot less work than, you know, boiling the skull or doing a more traditional actual Euro mount. And of course, if I do an out of state trip and I shoot a deer, I can either saw the antlers off or saw the uh, skull cap off and then use it with some kind of kit like this. Again, for 17 bucks, you know, my expectations aren't extremely high. It, I don't think it's gonna be as cool or as realistic, obviously, as a real Euro mount. But on the flip side, I think it's workable. I could definitely see myself buying another kit like this and making another one. So I wanna hear from you guys. Tell me if this thing looks pretty decent. If from four feet away where that camera is, you can't tell that it's a real skull if you didn't know otherwise. If it looks like crap, let me know. But I'm curious to see your feedback. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions related to this, let me know. And of course, I'll have an Amazon link to that kit down in the description below. Thanks for watching.